Hey guys, I recently did a video about um, interview tips if you're at an in-person interview. I'll put a link down below if you have not seen that video. But today I wanted to talk about interview tips if you're having a Skype interview because there are some things that are different about a Skype interview um, than an in-person interview. So these are my Skype interview tips. My first interview tip for a Skype interview is to dress fully. So I know when you're in a Skype interview, it seems like why do you need to wear um, a slacks or any bottoms that are more professional because the person interviewing you is not going to see those. However, if for any reason you might need to get up during the interview, you really don't want to get up and have them see your pajama bottoms or your sweats or whatever unprofessional bottoms you might be wearing. So it's better. Just rather be safe than sorry, wear nice bottoms just in case somehow they see them. Before you have your Skype interview, make sure you test out your computer equipment. Um, so if you don't use Skype on a regular basis, I would just do a Skype um, call with somebody that you know, just so you can test out how loud do you need to speak for your computer to pick up, pick up your volume. Um, just all the little quirks, if you haven't used it that way, you just are confident, you know how to use it, you don't um, get confused with anything and add to your stress levels when you're gonna, going into an interview. Make sure that your computer is charged before your interview, um, that if there are any software updates that need to happen, that they're completed so that you don't have any distractions related to technology that are going to take away from your interview. Um, I would even recommend closing down really anything else that you're using. So if you have um, your browser, your internet browser open, or if you have iTunes open, or any other uh, games, whatever open, have them closed down just so that you don't accidentally somehow click on them and then music starts playing and you don't have any distractions like that. Before your interview, make sure you plan out where you're going to sit. You want to make sure you're in a well-lit area that doesn't have a lot of distractions. You don't want to have your pets or your roommates or family your friend walking in and out of the room. Or you don't want to hear anyone's music or anyone's conversations in the background. Really, anything that can, all, um, anything that can be distracting at all, you want to try and avoid. Um, you want to make sure your background is pretty neutral. You don't want to have... Um, anything too crazy that's really going to take away from you um, or that's going to be a distraction to the interview process. I would make sure that you're at your computer and that you're ready for your interview five to ten minutes before. You never know, they might call you a little bit early um, or they might even call you late. Sometimes I know that they might be a few minutes late if they're running over with any of their other interviews. So just make sure that you're in the general area of your computer and that everything's prepared five to ten minutes before and don't stress out too much if they're a couple minutes late calling you. They might just be a little behind schedule. If you don't use a webcam a lot or even if you do, make sure when you're in the interview that you're actually looking at the camera and not at the picture of the people. Um, if you're looking at the picture of the people, it looks like you're looking off camera and you're not really making good eye contact. It's harder for them to form a connection with you. Um, it just helps them feel like you're actually alert and paying attention. Um, it's a little bit weird at first if you're not used to doing it, um, but just try your hardest to actually look at the camera and not at the picture of the people. Unless they're talking, in which case that's fine, but when you're doing the actual talking, look at the camera. I would recommend having um, a bottle of water, a box of Kleenex, and a pad of paper next to you. The pad of paper is for you to write down anything that you might might come up during the interview that you want to remember, um, or if you just need to jot down some notes. And also, I've talked about this in my other video, which I'll link below and on the screen right now. It's nice to have um, written out questions that you think they'll ask you or questions that you want to ask the school so that you're prepared with those and in case you blank, you can refer to them. Um, this way you just don't have to go jump up and get anything in the middle of the interview. For example, if you sneeze, you have a tissue right there. You don't need to jump up and go into another room or another area of the room to get a tissue. Um, it just makes it more convenient. You're prepared for really any situation that might happen, which is always great. I would recommend being in a well-lit area, preferably by a window because windows are a really great source of light. Uh, if you can't be by a window, at least have lights on. You don't want to be sitting in a dark room so that they can't really see you.
Having a Skype interview can really help you cut down on costs of traveling to a school. Definitely make sure before you have a Skype interview that you verify with your school that a Skype interview is not going to be considered any differently than an in-person interview and they're, they're not going to um, look down upon the Skype interview more than they do an in-person interview. You just want to make sure they're going to weigh them similarly. Um, however, if it's fine and you have can have a Skype interview. I hope that these tips help you out just a little bit. If anyone has any additional tips, please leave them down below in the comments. That would be awesome. Um, if you are also having an in-person interview, I'll link um, my video that I did recently about tips for an in-person interview. They are different than a Skype interview because different things, um, you have to consider different things when you have a Skype interview versus an in-person interview. So go ahead, check that out. I hope that you're having a great day. Good luck on your interview. Bye.